What's up guys, Sports Card Gamble here. So today we're gonna take a look at another PSA send-off reveal. Uh, like probably a lot of people, I was rushing to get as many cards as I could sent in before this price hike. I started seeing rumors about it a couple weeks ago and then just more and more, it looked like it was definitely happening. Shout out to the guys that were making that public. So yeah, definitely uh, submitted a couple orders. I mean, I pretty much got in all the stuff that I had sitting around that I was like in the queue to get graded or at least check out. A lot of stuff that I didn't make the cut. This order here is going to be the modern order, the stuff that is at 2017 to 1972. We have 55 cards here, total cost that is $12 per card, which is $702.50 with all the uh, shipping and insurance and that sort of thing. So let's just go ahead and get into this one here. If you would, please hit that like button and subscribe button. I do have a 130 card PSA order that I'm about to get back here any day. So that's going to be on the channel soon, but uh, right now we'll go ahead and get into this one. So first up, we have a Panini Select. This is a LeBron James Select Swatches, uh, just a MIM card, not serial numbered. It's a card I've had for a while. I honestly forgot about it a little bit, just kind of in the back of the box. Thought, hey, if I can get a 9 on that, that should increase the value. And um, it's not a card that I really need back anytime soon. Here's another one. This was purchased, you know, a year ago or so. Um, Spectacular Swatches. This is with Spectra. It does have a Miami Heat game use patch there. It does have them on the Lakers. This is serial numbered at a 49, so pretty short printed on that. I'm not sure what the parallel is I forget all right so next up we have a Kobe Bryant this is tops chrome this is just a base card very clean card I don't think there's any chance it will get a 10 even if it's perfect I think they'll just automatically give it a 9 this is 2006 2007 tops chrome very clean look kind of typical of tops chrome this year kind of looks a little more old school I'd say just overall clean look the refractors look cool too here's a Derek Rose this is a 2013-14 panini prism this is a silver prism it's a very clean card very sharp card didn't look like there's anything wrong with it it's just early prism stuff i know 2012 13 you know prism silvers do pretty well so you know if you can get a 10 on this it'll be nice I, I feel like you know it'll be lucky to get a 10 even with it looking perfect it just feels like they'll just give it a nine with a lot of these cards honestly here's a magic johnson this is an orange prism so again 13 14 very clean look on 13 14 love the look of that year and they just have really cool inserts and stuff these are out of 60 this year for the orange prisms uh, same thing here with a clyde drexler out of 60 uh, same same year. Nice looking card. Very clean look. Here's a pretty low end card. This is a Dwayne Wade representative. This is an insert 1415 prism. These do come with the refractor or prisms. Silver prism look. Standard. Here's a James Harden. This is a green prism. 1718 prism. Obviously he's having a great year with the Nets. Really uh, dishing it out and playing very well. So he, I mean obviously he's a superstar before that. Just a nice clean card. Greens aren't the most in demand parallel. I put them kind of down with the red, white, and blues. But it is prism. It is a superstar player so it has a lot going for it on that end here is again prism this is 15 2015 prism football calvin johnson just a super clean look i do like the look of 2015 16 prism a lot as well just nice look on these silvers 14 15 prism shaquille o'neal this is the yellow red mosaic parallels pretty cool ones there not my favorite i like these blue greens a little bit better same year this is Dwayne wade uh, blue green mosaics not numbered on those this one is numbered this is a tim duncan this is the light blue out of 199 for 2015-16. Very clean card. I do like that color. Here's a Dwayne Wade. Um, this is Topps Chrome 57-58 variation refractor. Nice card there. Um, these are out of 999. Probably will get a guaranteed nine. I do have a couple of these already sent into PSA. Just a great looking card. Here's a card I've had for a long time ever since I broke 2014 prison football. Had this card for a long time. So I mean I put the card up for sale I don't know a few a couple years ago. It hasn't really sold. I think I've taken it down to a couple times try to put it in a team lot that sort of thing you know i gave it one final chance here to look it over it looked clean if it comes back a nine that would be disappointing i have sent a Derek carr rookie card of the same thing with that same parallel and it did get a 10 so you know i was kind of hoping for that you know it'll, it'll be a card that looks nice in a psa uh, 10 holder if you can get that these are at a 99 here's a jason tatum this is the rated rookie optic uh 17 18 very clean i love optic just the cleanest cards i mean sometimes they look better than prism sometimes this is not the best year not the worst year either uh, very nice look kind of a basic pose there but hoping to get a 10 there 
So going back a little bit to Chris Bosh here, obviously Topps cards are kind of exploding right now overall. I mean, Chris Bosh hasn't taken off like a, a LeBron or Dwayne Wade. I, I feel like Dwayne Wade is kind of taking off right now, honestly. Uh, as somebody that like searches his cards a lot, but this is just a, it's very well centered. They'll probably still give it a nine. They'll find something wrong with it. Looks perfect to me. I mean, corners are sharp. Chris Bosh. Here's a Jameis Winston. This is Topps Chrome. This is his rookie refractor. So nice card there. Um, I did open up a box of this off camera and pulled this card, but I also had at least one other one previously that I bought like back when this stuff first came out so this is the last one I had you know maybe with him getting a chance to start in New Orleans this year you know we'll see what happens I, I still think getting it in a PSA 10 would definitely help the value here's a Donovan Mitchell obviously he's having a great season this year and still pretty much underrated though in the hobby um, these are the red yellow parallels you not it's kind of a common parallel if you actually open up this stuff back in 1718 a common retail parallel there's a lot of these but um, definitely worth sending in with him um playing well and their team doing well overall uh, here's a darren fox the same set 1718 optic same parallel you know obviously he's a great player as well kings just you know aren't the best team and they just really don't get a whole lot of shine overall even when they're doing well you know i don't really forget about him but i'm sure some people forget about darren fox and the kings in general uh just like I, i'm a pacers fan i'm sure people do the same all right here's magic johnson this is a 2014-15 this is the light blue parallel prisms this is at 49 so short printed on these love the color on those and just cards you don't see come up too often so i tend to, to buy them as long as they're a decent price I'm, i'll pay i'll overpay a little bit if i if i need to here's a tim duncan dominance so kind of the same this is actually 2013 14 so a year previous kind of the same color there uh, it was the light blue die cuts you can get the light blue die cut treatment on all the base cards all the inserts everything so i do like that it was, it was pretty cool and and the die cut is actually different per insert so that's pretty cool as well these are out of 199 so nice card, Hall of Famer here, very clean card. PSA will give it a nine, but that's what happens. Here's a card that I'll be lucky to get a nine on this one. It's just got, it's very clean. It's pretty well centered, sharp corners, just has some surface stuff. You can't really see it in the case, but there's definitely some surface, you know, some minor scratches and maybe a scuff or something. So I would assume it's probably gonna be an eight. This is out of 300. Kobe stuff has really taken off, but I mean, it always has been pretty good. That's a, it's a nice card. I mean, if you could get that in a nine, that would be a win for me. Another card that's probably gonna get a nine I'm, I'm pretty sure it's pretty well clean it just has like a dimple like right there very well centered just i love the look of this card great action shot i like it how the background's kind of just blurred out it's just all refractor just very nice stuff i i do like this time period of cards good action shots like tops in my opinion does did a way better job with action shots than panini does nowadays i'm just a great card these these are out of 249 so short printed here is a rookie card of Dwayne wade this is the upper deck black diamond i feel like this Set. I, I've never had a chance to open up this stuff. I feel like this set is just totally slept on. I've bought a full set of the die cuts. Um, this, it was actually a year after this one, 2004, 2005. Also bought a set of the quadruple diamonds of that year. Um, I just learned about them when I bought that stuff. Uh, and I was really just trying to get the Jordan, the LeBron, and the Kobe out of those. This stuff, I mean, you, you don't see too many of these on eBay. I do have a PSA 9 and a BGS 9.5 of this that I actually bought already graded. So this one will probably get a 9, I would say. It's a nice card. I would pick this up because I mean, you still get these pretty good raw. Now, you got to worry about the condition, um, but it's only like a $20 card. And I'd say that's a pretty good pickup right now. for If you're looking for a Dwayne Ray Wade rookie that's like... Um, feels like it's kind of short printed i don't know you don't see a lot of that product honestly here's the lebron james this is timeless treasures 13 14 i actually did uh, open up a box of this and uh, i remember at the time i was like oh this is like high-end stuff or whatever i think it was just because i had the treasures name i didn't really know a whole lot this is like when i first got back into the hobby in like 2015 and i ended up pulling a lebron and a kobe base card which all the base cards are numbered to 299 so that was pretty cool i think i opened up two boxes the, all the hits were were garbage or not that great. So here's actually one of those upper deck black diamond die cuts. Again, this is 0405. The way they do it here is I, I'm not a huge fan of how they do this, but it, it's like a, a single. This is this is like the lowest one, right? A single diamond. You can get a double diamond, triple diamond, and a quadruple diamond. Pretty sure the quadruples are like were like one per box. And I think that could have came on a die cut, a base card, or whatever it came on. 
I think you just got one quadruple per box. Pretty rare, I'd say. But again, I couldn't find a ton of information on that. That's kind of what I was able to piece together. And I asked the seller of these sets some questions and stuff. So would love to find some unopened wax of that, but I'm sure it'd be extremely expensive. Uh, this will probably get a nine at best. Love the die cuts. And it's just a clean look. I've always liked Upper Deck a lot. Nice that it's still when they had a license and everything. Great card. Here's a Magic Johnson. This is 2015-16. This is the Mojo Prisms. These are out of 25. Um, very fancy looking card. You don't see these come up too often, especially with a Hall of Fame player. Pick this one up. Again, short printed. So again, I'll probably get a nine, but here's a Stoudemire. This is Orange Prism. Just, I love the look of these cards. I mean, 13, 14 Prism is just, they just look so good. These are out of 60. Again, we've already had a few of these. A 10 would really help this card. A nine, eh. But still, I just love this stuff. You know, I, I I just, I'm a sucker for buying 13, 14 Prism. Again, as we see here, honestly never heard of the gentleman here, but um, just a great clean card. It was super cheap. It was like $6.50 or something. I don't remember, but it was out of 25 for a red Prism Auto, you know, New York Nick. So, and it looked very clean. If that's in a PSA 10 holder, like that card will look very attractive. Again, more Stoudemire. Uh, he's just a cheap buy. I feel like he has some value in PSA holders uh, for like nice cards like this, not like some base card. Or something kind of a stretch but here's a lebron james this is 15 16 panini prism the all nba first team this is a silver prism hoping to get a 10 on that one i think that was a pretty good chance here's a panini brilliance damian lillard this is a rookie card 2012 13 i believe i did pull this card i opened up a box of this stuff um, back in the day i mean 2012 13 stuff was cheap when i got back into the hobby around 2015 13 14 stuff super cheap you didn't even want to buy it for football too so here's another mojo prism really like this one a little bit better I do really like Damian Lillard. Just a clean card. Pretty good price. And like I said, I'll pay up for these type of cards. Out of 25, very short printed prism. You know, it has a lot going for it for like long-term value. Here's a Dwayne Wade again, 13-14. We've seen the Tim Duncan. Here's the Dwayne Wade. I actually bought both of those cards in the same lot. These are out of 199. Here's Scotty Pippen, Hall of Famer, 199. Great looking card. Here's a uh, Damian Lillard. This is a uh, 1617 select orange prism. Now these are the same as prism. So out of 60. Well, I mean, prism changes it up. Select probably does too. I don't open a ton of select, but I do buy singles. Uh, nice card there. Here's a 1718 LeBron James silver prism. Uh, nice card here. I think I paid 30, 40 bucks uh, about maybe 2019 for this card. I think PSA nines are probably around $100 or so. So, I mean, the, the value is not crazy like his like earlier silver prism and stuff like that. Still, you know, a solid card and definitely a card to get graded uh, for that long-term value. Here's some Kevin Durant rookies. Now, I've already sent in all my good Kevin Durant rookies. Like, when I got back into the hobby in 2015, Kevin Durant was my guy and his stuff was pretty cheap. So I was buying a lot of that stuff and I sent in all that stuff back then. So these are kind of the ones I bought raw then and just had sitting around that I never deemed that they would have a chance to get PSA like 10s on or some of them 9s. Now with the hype, the hobby, Kevin Durant playing on a, a super team pretty Pretty much I'm pretty much just gonna send all these in I'll take some sevens and eights if I have to but um, I think a lot of these have a chance for nines probably in the eight to nine range centering is good here and these are these cards have really gone up in value so there's two of those this is one that I'm really glad that I bought and it's it's a pretty rare card I mean it's not that short printed but um you still see a lot of these and I took a whim on this one and bought this one um, I think it was actually in 2020 early 2020 or something like that these cards have like 4x and stuff I think I paid 150 bucks Bucks, I think maybe it's 200 uh, it's in one of my recent pickup videos in the past, but these are out of $14.99. Um, so it's, like I said, not too short printed. I just don't think a lot of people know. These are the ones that were actually released like straight from Topps website. So you could just buy the card from the website or whatever, the eTops. And this is rookie year. It does have some surface issues, otherwise pretty clean. So I'm gonna send it in, hope to get a nine. And it's just a nice card to have. I do like that card too, it looks really good. So here's a card, I have had a couple of these before. I do have some graded. Um, this is the 57-58 variation of Kevin Durant rookie uh, just the paper tops nice card pretty well centered on there like I said they don't really hand out tens too easy on that stuff so here's this is more of a lower end one but still solid star rookies upper deck definitely has a chance this is probably a cleaner copy of all these this is one that has really shot up in value too it's the gold border um, 5758 variation these are serial numbered out of 2007 for his rookie year uh, this one has some slight corner stuff but again honestly these don't none of them look too bad as I'm kind of going back through them I just try to be pretty tough on the cards um, I believe this one had like a slight corner issue but this is actually the glossy 
Jersey version. That was kind of like the one of the parallels you can get of the Fleer rookie card. So as you see there, it's a glossy version. I do have a basic version of this in a BGS 10. It was the first BGS 10 I ever got um, when I used to submit to Beckett. This is a nice one here. I, I think it'll probably get a nine. All right, here's the Dwayne Wade. This is a rookie, or I'm sorry, it's not a rookie. This is, a, I believe, a second year auto. Very short printed on this one. It is a sticker, uh, but out of 20 on that, I mean, you can't find this card. You're not, you're not gonna find it again. I mean, how many people are really looking for this exact card? But still, you, you love to have that uh, out of 20 on there. Again, I'm a big fan of Dwayne Wade. I paid, um, I think I paid 80 bucks for this card. So here is another one that I purchased at the same time. This was from the same seller out of Miami, Florida. So probably a Heat fan that sold off his stuff after Dwayne retired, I guess. I'm not sure, but you know, he did go off the, the space here on this auto. And this one is serial numbered again out of uh, 325 this time. So definitely not a short print, but this is his rookie year. So gotta like that. I was always a big fan of Fleer and Skybox. I do like kind of their, just some of the designs they do on their cards. Here's a Kobe Bryant. This is out of uh, 299. We already saw the LeBron. This is just the, the base one that we already talked about. Timeless Treasures. Uh, here's another Kevin Durant Star Rookies Upper Deck. That one in the Texas jersey. Here is a low-end Kobe insert. Um, I think I bought this card for a few bucks like a couple years ago. I'm sure it's gone up. I haven't checked it in a long time. I'm sure it won't get a 10. Uh, if I can get a 9 on that, that'd be pretty nice. I always like the look of that card. I think it's like late uh, 90s. Alright, so here is this Super Bowl uh, Ricky Sanders. This is a card that I feel like like was a pretty big pull when I did pull this. I pulled this out of a 2015 Panini Prism Hobby Box. Um, this is only a three card set. I had to look this up when I pulled this because I was like, what is this? It's not even a Chrome card. It's a three card set that for this year that celebrates the 22nd Super Bowl and uh, has the three basically star players of that game on the Redskins who won. I had never heard of Ricky Sanders, honestly, before I pulled this card, but I guess he had like a couple touchdowns or something like that. I'm not sure. I don't remember, but um, just a pretty cool card. It is on card, so that's kind of cool. I think it's more rare and special than it will really get credit for. I think it'll look great in a PSA holder. Hope to get a 10 on that. Here's a Giannis. This is a 1718 blue fast break. This is serial number. This is prism out of 175. So again, gotta love the superstar uh, prism serial numbered stuff. So always good buys if you can get them for the right price. This one looks really clean. So Definitely hoping to get a 10 on that. Here we go with more 13, 14. I probably should have had this stuff in better order, but here's a Carl Malone. Um, this is a light blue again, out of 199. And Isaiah Thomas, 13, 14. This is the silver prism. Here we have a Devin Booker. This is his hoops rookie, 15, 16. And last card here, we have a Kawhi Leonard, 15, 16 prism. All NBA, all defensive team. This is the silver prism. So that's it. So that's it, guys. That's 55 cards there. Hopefully we can get these back in six to eight months. You know, that's kind of the hope. A lot of people say a year. I think they'll be back before a year. Six to eight months is honestly okay with me. Um, and I'm glad to get these submitted in before this crazy price hike because you know that it's a, it's a huge difference now where they're starting at 20 bucks. I mean, I'll probably continue to have to send in through the value method because I can wait. You know, it's not too bad as long as they can kind of be in that six to eight months. That's really what I'm hoping for. So guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Um, I'll be back with another one for Ultra Modern here. Another 55 card order in a video very soon. If you would, please hit that like button and subscribe button really does help out the channel don't forget about the subscriber giveaway and i'll see you in the next video thanks